When the depression hit, it really had a profound effect, not only on New Concord, but on the Glenn family. Glenn Sr. had a plumbing business, and then all of a sudden, there was no longer any business. And those were tough years. And the uh, unemployment rate then ran over 20% for four years, and it was almost 25% one year. And that was for the whole country. I remember many times somebody coming up and knocking on the front door and telling mother that they were hungry and did she have something they could eat. That was not unusual at all. And mother would always fix them a plate and they'd sit on the back steps and it was a, a very rough time. One of the effects that the Great Depression had on John Glenn was the idea that the federal government could come in and help the average citizen. And he saw this sort of firsthand with the programs of the New Deal. President Roosevelt put in some very innovative and, and pump priming uh, programs as they were called back then and they eventually worked. And uh, my dad went to work on WPA. The WPA, the Works Progress Administration, brought in business into town. The town got a new sewer system from it and Glenn Sr. was hired, ended up actually as a foreman. It put money in people's pockets and helped them get back to work. And this had a profound effect on Glenn. He saw this as government can actually do some good. As America began to pull itself out of the Great Depression, John Jr. engaged in a variety of activities during his high school career. He played varsity football, basketball, and tennis, got his first taste of public office as junior class president, and even landed the lead role in a school play. I'm not sure he got that from his father or not. His father acted in the local community theater group also. 